let's take a look at the relationship between the least common multiple and the greatest common factor of two numbers. If we have two numbers, and in our example we're going to use the numbers 4 and 6, the product of the, or see, we have two numbers, 4 and 6. The product of these two numbers is 4 times 6 equals 24. Find their least common multiple and greatest common factor. And the question for us is, what is the product of the least common multiple times the greatest common factor? Let's see what happens when we find the least common multiple and the greatest common factor and we multiply those two numbers together. So, for least common multiple, I've listed out a few of the multiples of 4 and a few of the multiples of 6. For 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and we know that these lists go on and on forever. We have in, in our multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and we want to find the least that's common, the least number or smallest number that's common to both list of multiples. So I can see that I have the number 12 in both of my lists. Um, I can see then too that this is the least number that's common to both. So there's no number smaller than 12 that's common to both lists. So my least common multiple is 12. Now let's look at the greatest common factor. So I've listed the factors of 4 here, 1, 2, and 4 because 1 times 4 equals 4, and 2 times 2 equals 4. 1, 2, and 4 all divide evenly into 4. So these are the three factors of 4. 1, 2, and 4. I've listed here the factors of 6. 1, 2, 3, and 6. And so the only number, and the greatest number, that these two lists of factors have in common is, well the 1 is in common, that's always in common but the greatest one that they have in common is the number 2. So they do have a 1 in common and they have a 2 in common. So they do have two numbers in common, but we're looking for the greatest of those. And so the greatest common factor of 4 and 6 is 2. So I'll put equals 2 here. Now what happens when we find the product of the least common multiple times the greatest common factor? Well, the least common multiple is 12, and the greatest common factor is 2. 12 times 2, so 12 times 2 equals 24. And the interesting thing here is that 24 is the same as when we take those two numbers, the 4 and the 6, and multiply them together. So the product of two numbers is equal to the product of their least common multiple and their greatest common factor.